Today we're talking about virtualization management within the data center. I'm joined by Patrick Burval, who's going to talk us through the technologies and the licensing risks within the virtualized data center environment. So Patrick, virtualizing servers within the data center, it makes a lot of sense in terms of efficiency, but it also brings with it inherent licensing risks. You're right, David. Virtual instances can be spun up in minutes to cover resource requirements. However, this must be managed and correctly licensed, otherwise significant financial risks can be introduced. So that's interesting. Can you explain the different use rights that are available to license virtualized environments mm. and what it means for our customers in terms of managing this? Mm. In addition to downgrade rights, upgrade rights, cross-platform and any other use right, organization can also license an unlimited number of VMs. Alternatively, they can choose to license a specific number of them. Due to the complexity of determining the optimal license position, it's important to understand the bigger picture before making decisions on licensing. That's why in Snow License Manager 8, we've introduced a summary view for a given application family. For example, for Windows Server, an organization would have multiple versions and editions which are deployed in data centers on virtual machines or standalone physical servers. And you would need to take all that into consideration to determine the optimal way to license it. As you can see, we are displaying the total consumption in the data center, linking the virtual machines to the host as well as to the data center and cluster, which gives you potential optimization opportunities. So that's brilliant. License stacking is also an option for organizations. Uh, can you explain a little about what this is and how Snow License Manager 8 can manage that? Sure, David. In many cases, organizations can purchase premium packages that allow for an unlimited number of VMs or to purchase standard packages that allow for a specific number to be supported. The latter model allows for license stacking whereby you over-assign licenses to the physical server to cover the VMs that are on it. So that sounds great. How can I over-assign licenses in Snow License Manager 8? Yeah. Let me show you the license edit view. This is where you select servers and data centers and assign the numbers of licenses needed. And the different use rights are displayed here and you can assign additional licenses where license stacking is needed. That's great, Patrick. It's really good to see that you can view all of the data at a high level, but then go and make the right decisions and have the flexibility to apply the right use rights quickly and easily. You can really be sure that you can mitigate your risks within the virtualized environment with Snow License Manager 8.